Welcome everybody to episode two of Hillbilly Therapy. I am your Hillbilly Therapist, Jake Hill, and I'm here with my co-host, the host of the Exploder Podcast, Mr. Dan Fraley. How's everybody doing? We are here at Exploder Studios. We're going to have episode two. We're going to go over some more questions sent in by you, our lovely listeners, and we're just going to answer them the best we know how. So let's, you know the concepts, let's get down to it. Jake, what's the first question? All right, um, our first first question here is, I've been trying to get my 35-year-old son to move out for two years now, and he won't move out. What should I do? I'm going to let you start with this one, because I'm just curious as to what your response may be. There are two responses here. There, there, there are two options here. You either grow some testicles, or you burn your house down. Those are really your options. If he's 35 and he lives in the house, A, there has to be a good reason. If there's some kind of disability or some reason, if it's just lazy or he thinks that at 35 it's perfectly appropriate to be to be working at the last blockbuster in America, yeah, it's time to kick him out. I'm sorry. There, there's a difference between needing help and just not willing to do anything for your own life. There's a big difference, okay? There are people that live with their parents. I lived with my parents during college. Okay, I made 100 bucks a week at my job. I went to college full time. Yeah, living with my parents made sense. Matter of fact, I lived with my grandmother. So, you know, now I was helping the family, and that makes sense. Now, if I'm doing it now, when I have a full time job, I got enough money to make my bills. If I'm just doing it, just screwing around, no, I should be kicked out. So if he's 35 and if he's if he's spending all his money on porno and and slim gyms, yeah, he need to kick him out. So that that's that's my thing. 35 in that position, no, kick him out. Done. I don't care if you you could change you could do it Flintstone style. Wait for him to leave or something and change the locks. Throw him out a window. I don't care. Get him out of your house. He's grown. It's time to grow up. I'm pretty much going to agree with on you a lot of things other than the two options are burning down the house. Um, and I don't, can't even remember what the other option was because I was too busy staring at you. That burn down the house was an option. Uh, my vote's just going to be whenever he goes over to his friend to smoke pot, which I'm going to assume he's 35 and living at home, he's smoking pot. It's required. Yeah. And it, you have to. Uh, I just say you take a shit, you put it outside. When he comes back and he's like, Mom, what do I do? <laughs> Not my problem. Like you be an adult. That's what you yeah. do. You figure it out. That's pretty simple. If you, and here's the thing. If you have to send that to somebody and ask what do you do, I'm beginning to wonder about your mental ca- capabilities because it's a pretty easy answer. It, it's pretty easy. I'm sorry. Kick him out. That's it. Next question. And, and don't let him back in. That's, yeah, that's, don't I, let him back I'm in. I assume that's probably why like, you kick him out and then a week later he comes back and he's like, I'm hungry, I need laundry. And you're like, all right, move back in, baby. Don't, don't let him back in until like Thanksgiving. And even then... Make sure he's on a short leash. That's all I'm saying. All right, next question. All righty. Um, our next question is, what are your thoughts on the Kiki Challenge? Oh, I got I got I to gotta hear, Jake, I got to hear your take on this. You want to hear my take on the Kiki Challenge? Let me tell you, it is the dumbest goddamn thing I have ever seen. And we grew up in... We, Right now, everything out there is stupid, and this is beyond it. Basically, if you don't know what the Kiki Challenge is, your life's better than mine. Basically, what it is is where people get out of their car, they sit there, and they do this little stupid... I don't know why I'm doing it right now. Yeah, we're we're on... There's nobody filming it. Yeah, we're on a podcast. No one needs to see that. Ever. They get out, and they dance this little song, and it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I don't get the point of it, and the song sucks. It is the most god awful, annoying song that has been put out. And now people are dancing in the streets to it. I saw one episode and I did, of it that Duke got hit. And I cannot tell you how much I laughed at that and why it doesn't happen more often. It's one of those things where if the guy gets hit, like it, I honestly, and maybe this makes me a bad person, I don't really care because the people that do this are also bad people, so we're even. But. The people that do this, I in my heart, like when I watch it, like I don't watch them much, but if I happen to catch one on Facebook, I secretly want something bad to happen to them. I don't want them to die. I want them to get maimed. I want someone to run into a street sign. 
I want uh, like a little person to come up and hit him in the junk. I want something bad to happen. Something temporary, but something bad. Because it is... I, I don't understand these things. I don't understand how something becomes popular. I don't understand how when they were teaching people how to Dougie. I don't understand. I don't know how these things become popular because they're just random and all of a sudden it just goes around the internet. And next thing you know, you got cops dancing outside their cruisers. And I'm going, first of all, you should be doing something for the law instead of screwing around on the internet. Kids do it. Adults do it. Some people are doing that and they're adding the mommy shark bull crap, which was a thing I learned in like church do, camp do, when do, I was do. a kid. Do, 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 do bull crap, which I learned as a kid at church camp, I think. They at least found a way to make this thing less that's annoying because I'm going to say that song right it's, there the uh, baby shark do 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 yeah. is actually less annoying than oddly enough do, yes do it's weird me? it's weird but yes it is and and honestly I never thought I never thought of all things we'd end up with something so annoying from someone like Drake who is probably for my money the least annoying least offensive hip hop artist I've ever seen in my entire life like there are guys right now who have mo no there are guys right now who have rainbow teeth face tattoos they've been famous for three seconds and they're talking about their fans this guy's been around for a while he's an unoffensive canadian maybe not my style of music but you know what he's not he seems like a decent guy he's not chris browning his way through hollywood wow yeah i'm gonna throw it out there yeah. screw chris brown <laughs> but i mean you know what i mean so he's overall but then he produces this this is like the kardashians of music it's there it's popular but you're not quite sure why and there, there is what's funny. You were talking about you know bad stuff happening to people that are doing this. There are ones out there that I'm not gonna lie. I will watch. There's, there's one of a girl doing it, and whoever's driving just fucking stops. So she smacks into the door. Ah, I'm not kidding you. I probably watched that thing like 15 times. Like I've... if I could have that as my screensaver, I swear to God, I'd just sit there and stare at my screensaver for minutes because it is honestly the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I will say this. I, I've seen that one. And here, here's the beauty of that one. Not only did it happen, which is absolutely worth it. The fact that it happened, then the girl who stopped the car still posted it. That <laughs> made it the best. Because these things are recorded. These aren't live. No, this isn't the live news. This is recorded. And then someone went, oh, I'm still uploading that. So there are two people involved. One person is a victim, which to be fair, your <laughs> fault. But one person is <laughs> a victim <laughs> of this. And the other person goes, I'm going to post it. Now that, that is a true friend. That is a it true is. friend. They're like, oh, I'll make sure you're okay. Uh, they're going to put it on the online anyway, just to show. So what's going to happen is in the future, when these people who will eventually have grandchildren, <laughs> they're going to have this online on their hollow deck or whatever the hell. They're going to show this of grandma running into a car. It's going to be the funniest thing in the world. And you have only of yourself to blame. <laughs> That is fantastic. All right, we're going to go to our third question here. And this is our last question, so of course we're going to call this The Last Call. Woo! Last call for the bar, I'll soon be leaving. Our question asks, it says, My wife always tells me I can just tape the game and watch it later so she can watch House Hunters. Please help! They, they put in big letters, please help. I think this might be another burn the house down situation. I'm not saying it's the wow. first. I'm not saying. Why it's are you instantly <laughs> going to burn the I'm house I'm going right down. to arson. I'm not saying it's the first Jeez. option. I'm saying you always need to have it in the chamber, just in I case. I don't feel like it should be in the top ten. Eh, my, 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 top ten, maybe. Not top five. Top ten, maybe. I, I think divorce is always on the table. Don't tell me about which, which one's first. Divorce or burn the house? Down? Divorce is always before arson. That's just the rule. Oh, okay. Divorce is before arson. It's way less paperwork, way less prison time. You know, <laughs> anything. Well, yeah, it depends on how bad your divorce is. That's all I'm going to say. But the, the reality is, yeah, I, I, I'll be completely honest with you. I don't like sports. I don't watch sports. I don't give a crap who's playing for what team and what sport. Nothing bothers me. However, if you do like sports, let's say, let's transfer that. Say you like movies or whatever the hell. Movies are a little different, but sports, sports are live, sports are happening, there's a lot of sports, but let's say you really love football. There is a difference between watching it live and recording it. There's a difference between having the time to watch it. Let's say you work third shift and the game's on one of your days off. Well, you can watch it on that day, but watching it any other day, it's just not as easy. And your wife should understand that because it's not as easy. Uh, as far as sports go, I don't give a crap about sports, but... 
she should to a point. But here's the thing. I, I want to. I'm going to end with this. I'm going to end real with this. The thing she says is, oh, because of all this, who who wins? Blah 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 blah. She doesn't like that. She doesn't care about the sport. Okay. Here's the spoiler. Here's the spoiler to every every episode of House Hunters. They buy the house. Okay, that's it. That's the spoiler. Every single one it ends with them buying one of three houses, and that's it. That's it. They buy one of, them. and then behind the scenes, it's a house that they've already bought. Yeah, they show they go in there with a house they've already bought, two of their friends' houses, and they pretend they're shopping. So there we go. I've just ruined. I've just ruined. If you have a wife like this, play this part. Play this part to them, because I just ruined their day, and I'm happy about it. All right, I guess I'm gonna step in here as the. Uh... The red-blooded American love sports. I, I When I saw this question come through, I'm not going to lie. I got a little irritated. Because like he said, House Hunters is the one of the dumbest shows. Because again, they already own the house. It's not like they're going to be like, oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to take Jim's house now. And they're going to be like, sorry, Jim, you're moving into Greg's house. That'd make it more interesting. Oh, my God, wouldn't it? Be like... House Steelers. House Steelers. There we go. Oh my God! Let's get this. That that and I, I was telling somebody the other day. You know what I want for like a House Hunters? Mm. I want like I want to start like my own version of House Hunters where they go in one where like the basement's caving in. The you know they got the original cabinets from 1942 and they're like, all right, so our budget's at a uh, ninety five thousand. I mean they're like, yeah. I mean there was three deaths here, but. I mean, they were all by natural causes, kind of a house, and they still they still gotta like get their friends together to loan them money to put the down payment on the house. I would watch that. I can make it better. Ooh, yeah. All right, make make the make the place terrible. But here's what you do: trailer hunters. Yes, you gotta buy. You have oh to buy. God. You get one of three Somebody. mobile homes. In different parks. Yes! And you buy the right one. You have to find the one. And you have to find the one with the least amount of meth residue. The Ooh, one, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. The one with the neighbors who probably have the least amount of warrants. And the ones... Forget the neighborhood, because the neighborhood's going to be crap anyway. But the one where you're pretty sure you won't be killed in the first month. Pretty sure. And they even better, they do an update. Like, oh, they were killed. <laughs> That and I, I guess in today's society, we have so many ways that you can hear the score. Like, if you're going to watch the game, like you said, working third shift and those kinds of things, that sucks because you got so many apps on your phones. You pretty much got to go like off the grid until you get the chance to watch the game because you don't want to know the score. I mean, it's hard. Yep. But guess what? We got a thing called on demand. Where you can watch 17 episodes of House Hunters while he's at work. That's right. You have to go. Here's the thing. On the other end, again, that's where I'm sympathetic. Men, if they don't know what, if they don't want to know the score to a game, I don't care what they're watching, whether it's football, baseball, Hungarian foot wrestling. I don't care. I don't care what you watch, and I don't know. But yeah, you have to go straight caveman. You have to go off the grid. You got to disconnect your TV. You throw warn, your you phone gotta, in a you lake. Gotta warn your coworkers. Yeah, you got to warn your coworkers. Like, you gotta throw man, your... Nobody's allowed to say who won the game because you... all you need is Barry to walk up and be like, "Hey, man, did you see that final touchdown that let the Browns finally win no. a game?" And you're like, "Fantastic!" You... Now, now he's dead. In the you have game. to. You have to man without a country. It. You have to not yeah. mention it. You got to throw your your phone in a lake. You have to cut off communication with all your family and right. friends just to get a game out. So, and then, like I said, House Hunters is on. You, you I know. You I know. Even, you can't even get on Facebook to nope. look at your grandkids' pictures because nope. Jim may have posted up, Browns lose again. Yep. Which, I mean, statistically, they're going to be. But still. Still. That still, one time. That, that, you, you don't, don't want, want that moment ruined. You, you want to feel been that. you two years for it. You don't want that ruined. You want to feel that disappointment personally. All right? You don't want to secondhand it. You want to feel it in your own heart. And that's it's too much to ask for. But yeah, and he's right. House Hunters, I know for a fact, and I know this because my wife watches it. House Hunters, right now, is on Netflix. And if you don't believe me, pull up Netflix on your computer, on your TV. Go ahead. Jake's doing it right now. Pull it up. Type in House Hunters. You're, you're going to find House Hunters. You might find House Hunters International. I'm not going to lie. This is where really rich people go to other countries. So they become annoying in other countries. Okay? I guarantee it's on it, it's on Netflix right now. 
The it, game is not. I assure you the game is not. Wouldn't that be awesome, though? It would be. And then there are Seriously, packages. Seriously, NFL, you're really right. failing on that one. And, and there are things like that. But that's the thing. So it's, it's a little different. So, again, as someone who doesn't even like sports, I can be sympathetic to the cause because, yes, it's different from House Hunters or Honey Boo Boo, whatever white trash du jour you have going on. Yeah. Uh, I just I agree with the husband on this one. I'm sorry. I do. I agree, too. Well, I, I believe we're going to uh, end the episode there this week. So I'm going to go with, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here.